in the middle of option four. Yes. Cleaning up the bris. In the, in that, in the, in that powder room. Powder room. In, uh, you look scary. Hand me the light. I just missed it. <laughs> we, yes, we were working on the powder room. There's always cobwebs in these. Uh, can you see the cobwebs? I think so. Anyway, so I always, we've been checking this for about a year and a half. Make sure it's not moving. And I checked this side yesterday and uh, I noticed there wasn't any cobwebs. So I was like, huh. So, so. we measured it. And we'll measure it again just to make sure. My and this is option two, by the way. So option people... two, side dormer. Yeah. The Here he calls it the south dormer. Yeah, because it's on the south side of the house. Oh, is that? You're kidding. That's why you call it the south yeah, dormer? Yeah, yeah. I know. But I have the measurements written down. It's always nice to keep the measurements of your girl on hand, <laughs> just in case. <laughs> yes. And this should be... Three and five eighths at the bottom right. So bottom right should be three and five eighths. And it's almost three and five eighths. And then the next, the middle right, three and three eighths. So this should be three and three eighths. And it's three and a half. So that's moved an eighth of an inch. But an eighth of an inch on the wall, it's 50 foot in the high in the sky. And right. I guess I check these just to make sure. These are supposed to be two and a half, three and a quarter on the bottom left. So that's still, that's still good. Okay. And two and a half. So this side's still good. Th this side hasn't moved, but this one has moved just a little bit but a little bit is too much yeah so so we've already taken pictures of the outside we're gonna take some pictures of the inside and commence yep yay yeah I think this is less stone and brickwork than the other one yeah the stones are actually smaller on the outside it's it the dormer just doesn't seem to be it doesn't as, seem as tall, bit, it right. Is, I guess it is. Uh, I guess it I is. I don't know. I don't know. It seems smaller. Is the bit is the window bigger? Yes. That's what it is. The window is bigger. The window is bigger, so less brickwork. And I was thinking about putting something out this window and holding it in, but. I think those side ones are doing a good enough job. Mm -hmm. By the time I get down that far, I forgot there were side ones. Two of them. Yeah. So, what's the chances? Well, we'll get the big, the big ones off, and the this one does not have the outward facade around the window. It's only at the very top, up there. Where you can barely see. What are you yeah. talking about? On the outside, up there, there, there's just not as much facade to go around. And the fa facade that's out there is square. It's oh. not like a rubble course. Yeah. So that's... It might make it easier. It might make it a little easier. All right. Well, we're going to take some pictures and go back out and... Get, get going. So we're commencing on... Only option two. option two, only taking the stones down for yeah. now. We've got a bit of a dilemma. We have a dormer to take down up here, right there, and straight out from the dormer is that tree. We're going to see how close we can get Bertha into that tree. See if we can kind of center it up. Maybe we'll make it work.
Try to get closer. Get it right there. Don't take off the mirror. We got the uh, personnel basket work platform switched around. And Carrie's gonna maneuver into this spot without hitting the tree, right? We'll find out. It'll be nice to be able to get Bertha in here without cutting down a big 100 year old sugar maple. Look at her driving next to the tree. Okay, put it in crab. Nope. Is that how far is it to go? Go for it. You got it. Look at you go, baby. All right. See if you can. Uh... You fit it in there, I think. I think it's going to work. on that side of the tree. I think she likes the fact that she got it in there. Yeah, well, there it is. <laughs> I mean, I am on the other side of the tree. That's something. Oh. Got to get up there and get that. She moved out a little, so we got to do what we got to do. Made it to the top of this dormer. There she is. This one, this one might, when I go back with it, I'm gonna put mortar in that joint. Because uh, I think it would hold up better. But this is uh, how she looks. Of course, the patina is going to stay. All the people that want me to pressure wash this house. I love the look of it. It looks really old. It matches her age. But this is the last. It'll look like this. It looks like the 
Keystone needs a little work. But we'll take some pictures on the way down and uh, starting another dormer. Carrie's excited. We made it in beside the tree. taking the stones down off of this dormer. It will be a while before we put it back up. We're just trying to keep the stones from falling. So we're gonna take them down and store them and we'll get back to this, but we have a higher priority than this one. The stones did move a little bit. So that's why we're gonna go ahead and take them down right now. And then we'll move on to the higher priority. Ah, another journey. We got a little repointing to do, tuck pointing. But we're curious how long it's gonna take for this puppy to be down. We'll find out. Oh, I bet they had a ladder there for a while. I figured out that uh, they were holding up the cornice molding. That's what the uh, straps are from the inside. They strapped the cornice molding inside and put it to the two by fours that are inside the uh, attic. I think this is like deja vu. Deja vu all over again, that's for sure. One thing I forgot to mention when I was up here is I think that this, this counter flashing right here, I think is helping hold these stones up. So it's a little concerning, disconcerting, but I hope uh, it goes well. I'm gonna cut it right here and just take this top stone off first and uh, then take it one stone at a time starting with this side I suppose but it's kinda it's sagged a little bit as well it's a little spooky 
but it'll work. But that little tiny stone's gonna come off first. Ta-da! And it begins. Alrighty, first big gur stone is ready. It's kind of precarious the way I have it, but it'll work for the whole 50 feet or whatever we got to go down. Thank you.